all right welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as in the heart in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them or right, let's go down to the news proper as in the heart now the canals trial could cause a big tension in the southeast and in nigeria at large the ipob members lament the members of the indigenous people of Biafra has lamented and cried out to the federal government to make sure that they handle the matters and issues that concerns Mazen and the Kano in an amicable way. They say that such issues which are not handled well could cause the sinking of a nation. They have also warned the members of the NIG, the soldiers and also other forces to be careful and know how they tread. According to the IPOB, they say that as it is in the southeastern part of Nigeria, that the men of the NIG forces are taking matters out of hand. They complain of the issues of arson, where soldiers invaded a lot of villages and burned down their buildings. They complain also how people have suffered so much due to that soldiers get encountered with hoodlums and in turn retaliated on innocent citizens who are going by their businesses. The IPOB members has reported the burning down of a lot of buildings by the men of the NIG soldiers because they were vexed by hoodlums. Now so it happened for the Obodo. My people, it don't shall uh, recently it gets something will happen. It gets one Obodo like that for Imo State where Kata Kata will to, to happen. Uh, they say it be like saying that the soldiers serving at the army, a uh, couple with the police people, and so they enter the village, uh, and so they come the fire, uh, even building and everything. And people will be said they be around, uh, everybody come they run around for the for their life, and people come they wonder why this kind of thing go to happen. Why it be say now whenever soldiers, uh, some people can't do something to soldiers. Uh, the soldiers will go back to that particular area and retaliate it on the innocent citizens uh, where we say that they live for that particular side of the country. And some people say, Ala Rola Lo, Ala Rola No, uh, it's an anathema. He gets one information where we say they enter my table now. And according to the information, uh, complaints don't they go say the issue of insecurity where we say in the perpetrate for the southeastern part of Nigeria. Biafra land and other parts of the Nigerian country say that now some big big people will be say the day for the top office now then they cause them. Uh, some people will be say they've been there sure they don't they point finger to one senator like that will be say if they come from north uh, they no one call the man name they say that the man now in the carry hand they put for the matters will be say if they consign insecurity will be say if they happen for the obodo according to the information they say that the man now in come they use them as in business. I say, oh, oh, I say, what in they happen? I say, why person, human being, where we say God create, uh, go they use your fellow human being blood uh, for the liver sativa? I say, that one no good though. I say, some people, it be like say, um, their heart uh, don't turn to their back. But I they ask them whether their mumu never too much. Whether Unamumu never too much, whether Unamumu never too much, I see they be, they say Niger governor don't ban on wholesale food sales, pack fresh concerns as economic cash bites harder. <laughs> it sure say the people where we say they don't for Bodo Niger, whether they go be able to survive this kind of hardship where we say if they go for the Obodo because what a one order and it don't share with that as the information where we say it did for my table. They say Niger State Governor ban on wholesale food sales spark fresh concerns as economic hardship bites harder. In the face of Nigeria's escalating economic challenges and surging inflation rates, Governor Mohabello of Niger State has imposed a ban on the wholesale purchase of food items at local markets by traders from other states. This move has ignited a wave of concern and criticism, particularly among the state residents, allegedly reeling from the burdens of rising living costs and economic instability. Governor Bello attributed the surging price of essential commodities, especially food items, to the influx of traders from neighboring states who descend upon local markets with heavy trucks 
excavating scarcity and driving prices beyond the reach of ordinary citizens. In response to the mounting grievances and protests, he announced an executive order amid at curbing the activities of what he termed food speculators. I have decided to issue an executive order effective today to stop food speculators from invading our local markets to mop up our farm produce to other states and neighboring countries, thereby making things difficult for people of the state and Nigeria as a whole. He stated, under the new directive, any truck found purchasing food supplies in bulk or rural market will face confiscation, with the produce subsequently auctioned off. The governor emphasized the necessity of this measure to alleviate the hardship faced by residents and restore stability to the local food market. The announcement of the ban follows widespread discontent among populace culminating in protests across the state capital, Mina, demonstrators, predominantly comprising youth, youth women, voiced their frustration and over the escalating cost of living and the perceived failure of government to address their plight adequately. On Monday, streets in Mina were flooded with protesters blocking trucks suspected of ferrying food items through the state. Their grievances echoed by many across the nation reflect the growing disillusionment with the economic policies and governance under President Bola Tinubu's administration. Nigeria has been grappling with a myriad of issues including declining in re oil revenues, current devaluation, and persistent inflation, of which have taken a heavy toll on the populace. While Governor Bojo justified the ban as a measure to safeguard the interests of local consumers, critics argue that it could exacerbate the very issues it seeks to alleviate. Economics warn that such protectionist measure could distort market dynamics leading to inefficiencies, reduced competition, and ultimately higher prices for consumers. Moreover, a ban risks exhibiting tension between neighboring states and could have rippled effects on regional trade and economic cooperation. With Nigeria already grappling with economic downturns and strained international relations, such natural action may further isolate the country and impede effort towards border economic recovery. And this one where we say that something where we say it they happen for me now. They say the governor where we say they did for that side. <laughs> the man they say uh, hey, don't forget to uh, as they be say they know they come for their state, they carry food again. <laughs> so you mean say all these granites, all these good good things, uh, tomatoes, all of them where they come from the north. Uh, he means say uh, you know go they come again. Now waiting these people they try tell us so. And of course you know uh, when it comes to consumption, na ndi bona den de savi ori If you go for when they outside the day, most of them you go see what they chop. And now waiting go follow tell you the people will be saying that them be the consumers. As it be the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB on Thursday rejected further trial of his leader Nam De Kano over his agitation for the actualization of Biafra. IPOB spokesman Emma Powerful said the group signed by the appeal court's judgment that discharged and acquitted Kano of all terrorism charges. Powerful was reacting to the Federal High Court in Abuja adjournment of Kano's trial scheduled to hold on Thursday, February 8, 2024. A statement by Powerful reads, the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, ably led by the great and indefatigable leader Mazin Nandi Kano Okuchuku Kano, reject for the court trial of the leader in the Nigeria court system. We stand by the judgment of the appeal court, which ordered Kano should not be tried again in any Nigerian court. The Supreme Court judges agreed with them, but lacked the courage and integrity to uphold the appeal court judgment. The public should recall the Supreme Court Justice on December 15, 2023 sent the case of Kano back to the High Court in what was referred to as a compromise judgment. The same High Court fixed February 8, 2024 to commence hearing on the unknown matter. Sadly, the same federal government that is persecuting Mazen Nandi Kano is refusing to make an appearance at the same Abuja High Court hearing on the 8th of February, 2024. The refusal of the federal government to appear in court on that day for continuation 
of their Kagaro trial shows that they do not have a case against Mazin and the Kano. The wicked and corrupt Supreme Court justices were part of the oppressor and prosecutors of Mazin Kano. IPOB leadership has revealed the actions of Nigerian government and totally reject further trial of the leader in the High Court. The federal government of Nigeria, headed by President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, knew why his attorney general has scrubbed the commencement of their appearance for the butchered February 8th Abu Dhabi High Court trial against Mazen Nam de Kano. They know very well that they have no case against him. They are just utilizing the weak and bastardized instrumentality of the law in Nigeria to detain and persecute, and persecute him indefinitely. The IPOB family worldwide therefore reject further court trial of the leader, Mazen de Kano, and demand for his immediate and unconditional release, as well as the release of all other innocent IPOB members in various detention facilities across Nigeria. No amount of illegal abduction, detention, extrajudicial murder and forceful disappearance will stop the quest for Biafra independence and the call for a referendum. IPOB has come to restore Biafra and it's either Biafra or no Biafra. This one is coming from the men of the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, they don't they lament based on as courts carry the uh, manage the matter where we see a concern and the canon. Now here I got to wind down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button. Thank you for listening. God bless you.